Hi everyone, thanks for clicking on this video. Today you join me for a super hot, awesome day in Canterbury. I am actually an ex-student of Canterbury. I was there for four years, so I'd like to think I know what I'm talking about. So if you've clicked on this video, hoping to look for little nooks and crannies and have a great day, like filled day, one or two days in Canterbury, this is the video I hope I summarize the perfect bits for you. So I'm gonna just drive, dive straight in. I've got two trains to Canterbury, the high speed. Here we have Westgate Towers at the end. The one of the main things you see followed by the punting look how beautiful that is canterbury is gorgeous anyway but in the sun it is like amazing there are so many nice places to eat oh yeah here's the cherry tree it is like iconic for its pig effer drink i'm not going to swear but it's basically luminous it's pink it's sugary and it tastes delicious but yeah back to the main high street here there are so many nooks and crannies and perfect places where you can get a gorgeous shot of the cathedral so just look at that down there but yeah and um, there are so many streets like i said they wrap around back to each other there's some gorgeous architecture like new shops in old places and there was the market when i went it was glorious in the sun i mean just look at that people just enjoying themselves this is near whitefriars which is the big shopping center it's quite new there we go more market stuff people just going about their day there's also the Marlow Arcade, which leads to the back streets. Oh yeah, here was like an amazing band. I don't know who they are, sadly, but it was amazing. It's just some of the great things that happen in Canterbury that you just don't expect. Oh yeah, and this is me walking through to Waterstones eventually. But yeah, there's Marlow Arcade, which leads out to the back. And it is buzzing today, so it wouldn't be a trip without a stop at Waterstones because I'm a bookworm. I love books. But yeah, back through the arcade and this is like onto one of the back streets of Canterbury where we get through the old Chaucer bookshop which is here it's super old I remember going in here in first year I was like what is this hidden gem it is full of amazing books some new but mostly old it's really quiet it smells a bit but like nostalgically old just because the books are just really old there are so many and like even going up the creepy creaky not creepy stairs there are just so many books look at that it is like endless yeah i could spend ages in there but anyhow uh moving on to the back streets again past all the other houses and little shops that are mainly forgotten through to saint john dane gardens you pass more architecture that is just beautiful and yeah it was a really hot sunny few days when i went and you can see like the grass is kind of drying up yeah there's me going up the monument it's a bit of a trek it's like two minutes but it's nice and steady but for me to get the best view of canterbury and the cathedral is from up here so keep on going <laughs> up we go up the stairs and there are a few people there but yeah here is the back of it so you go around past the aldi and other unis at the back but look at that a lovely beautiful view over the city you've got the marlow arcade which is just towards the left which is like a pointy building you've got saint john dane gardens below and then of course the cathedral i'm just going to pop in so let's have a chat and see what my plans are for the day hello everyone or oh, good afternoon should i say it is a beautiful day here in the uk and i am in canterbury which is actually my old stomping ground for uni so I'm very, very excited to be here today. You're probably wondering why. I just love it so much. There's no explanation for that. You can see yourselves like in my sunglasses. How cute. But yeah, I am currently sat in the sunshine in St. John's Gardens, I believe it's called. It's so stunning here. I mean, you can see behind me, like just the building is just like incredible. But yeah, today I am here for some personal research reasons and just to enjoy this beautiful city. It's a reason I picked it for my university. My main aim is to get some beautiful shots, write my blog, because I want to help people find which bits are in the city that are like the best and often the most like unrealized bits of the city to see that are hidden. So you've got your classic cathedral, Westgate Towers, and then the canal river thing that goes through as well, and then your punting. But mine is more to find the little nooks and crannies or share the little nooks and crannies that can be overlooked in Canterbury because there is so much potential here. It's a beautiful city and I just want to shine a light on that. So when I was living here, I lived very near the cathedral. So I had time to explore when I wanted in between studies. It is just so perfect. It was an early start today. On the trip, got two trains here. I got the high speed from St Pancras to Canterbury West. Very seamless, very smooth, very busy. Um, everyone enjoying the most of this weather this weekend. I'm currently reading Verity by Colleen Hoover and I'm like a third of the way through already and I've only been reading it on the train this morning. Incredible. 
um, yeah, I'm just going to sunbathe a bit more, read my book, then grab some lunch and do some exploring. So yeah, I hope this video helps you out. I hope you enjoy some of the sites, some of the little food places that are available and I highly recommend you visit Canterbury. I hope I do it justice. But yeah, speak to you soon. Here we are back in John Dane Gardens. A lovely day. As I said, this was filmed in summer of 2022 and I wish it was that now. But yeah, back to the main high street we're going, back past the old weavers and the Great Stow, which is popular for punting. You'll see it's best in spring and summer if you're planning to do it. But yeah, back through Westgate Gardens, here you've got the lovely view of the Stour. I decided to have a lunch of a Subway in the gardens, it was baking hot. And honestly, I can't remember the last time I was that happy, I just felt so at peace. Back through here, past all the little families and tourists and everything, through to the Marlowe Theatre. Now, you may stop by for a pantomime or something, but here, if you're very into your Instagram pictures, getting all the sights and everything, by the bridge here is amazing. It is perfect, it is just gorgeous. You'll find most cities have this kind of thing as well. But yeah, the punting goes on around here. Back through the streets, we're going through Sun Street. There are plenty of food options around here. Mine is the Pancake Factory, it is delicious. But here we're in like the main square city center bit, just outside of the Christchurch gate, I believe it's called, I'm not too sure. But if you are a student, you can get into the cathedral and its grounds for free. Otherwise, if you're hoping to go, I'd recommend booking really early because it can get so popular, especially on a super hot day like this because it is so beautiful. There's a bit of scaffolding because it's going through extensive like restoration work just because it's so old. But oh my gosh, look inside. It is beautiful. Now, there may be a lot of like touristy groups and everything, but don't let that bother you, I guess. <laughs> There's plenty to look at. I mean, the grounds just go on forever. I remember doing this in first or second year of uni with my pass. It was completely free and just like in complete awe. There's actually a school in the grounds as well. But what is most special to me is in here waiting to get ready for my graduation ceremony. There were so many of us and it was just amazing to be there all together. I was actually in here for a bit longer than I aimed to that day because I was getting, here's me trying to be artsy with some shots failing. I was trying to get some information for my novel I'm trying to write, which is set in Canterbury. There's so much to see, there's all the organs and everything and all the stonework and history. And these houses here, would you believe? I know some of them are offices, but I think some of them are lived in. Anyhow, back outside, back outside the main gate, you're back to all of your different food options. And actually this way, there are loads of different like charity shops, which I would highly recommend checking out. Here, bit of a mishmash onto St. Peter's Lane, which is near these gardens, just near the Marlow Theatre again. So covering our ground today, so bear with me on this. Here we're through to Abbott's Mill Garden. I will say I've not spent a whole lot of time around here, but from when I've walked through it, it is just gorgeous. And there's another bit of the Stour River running alongside as well. Hi, it is now several hours later. I have been like here and everywhere today. I even went back to my old two, no, one of my old uni houses, one in second year. Yeah, I don't miss that place at all. I'll put a list here of the places I've been to, but I'm actually heading to, it's near the punting place. That's another little hidden gem. So yeah, I went to the cathedral, just been around Canterbury, and now I'm going to go to that little spot and catch you soon. It's hard to narrow it down if you're only in Canterbury for one day, but the back streets are just endless. Here we're back through to the punting area. So over the Great Stour, this is just down Water Street, just a bit down Canterbury City. So you'll go down these lanes. And then as I said earlier, make sure you book it early. Look how gorgeous this is. I'm gonna keep saying that because Canterbury is gorgeous. There are people getting ready for their punting trips. But yeah, here's another shot of the Stour, excellent. And then we're through to Greyfriars Gardens. This is a pure hidden gem. I know I've said a lot, but this is just gorgeous. It is so quiet compared to Westgate Gardens. As, as you might see, there are some seagulls there ruining it, just going into the bin, ew. However, this is much quieter, so idyllic, so peaceful. And I swear there's like a secret like chapel, but it's closed off, so I don't know what happened to that. There are also some beautiful bits of architecture around here so, as well, some apartments, some flats, whatever. Going through all the little back streets again, we get to St. Peter's Grove. 
if you're into your Instagram, this is perfect for a shot. And also if you're nosy like me, because the windows are so low, I don't mind peeking into the front windows, much to the neighbor's annoyance. And Black Griffin Lane, that is another one as well. Here is Canterbury West Station. Look how gorgeous this is. We're on our way back home. I'm just gonna leave you with some shots of the high speed where you can get back to London in just under an hour through the beautiful countryside where I'll give you a debrief of the day. Hey, it's now the evening. I am now home. It's been an amazing day in Canterbury. So. I managed to go see Westgate again, sit in the gardens there, having my lunch. I went in the cathedral as well. That was really cool. It'd been a while since I'd been in there other than my graduation. So I managed to see it properly. I walked around Canterbury. I think I clocked up like 20,000 steps or something and I'm really tired right now. I also finished that Verity book. Phenomenal, amazing. But yeah, I, um, I'm trying to remember all the places I went today because there were just so many different bits and little nooks and crannies. I mean, you'll never get bored like going around the streets of Canterbury. And then there was the Marlow Theatre, so you can always go there if you want to see a theatre. There are loads of green spaces like dotted here and there. And there is always something to do, whether that be shopping, sightseeing, do punting. And then there's the cathedral, like I said. I went back to one of my old uni houses while I, I just walked past it just to remind myself. And then just even the route back reminded me of like being a student again. Oh, there's a nice fly there. Mm, nice. But yeah, some may slightly be a short video by the time I've put it all together, but I hope it gives you an idea of like some of the things to expect, some of the things to see, some of the cute streets that are there. And just to give you an idea, if you are thinking of going there yourself, you could easily do it in a day or two if you want to space it out. But yeah, I crammed it all in like six hours because I had a train to get to and I had to go back through London. But yeah, I had the most amazing time. I will never get bored of Canterbury. I love it so much. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.